Hello everybody, welcome back. Calisthenic skills. In a heated discussion on which moves are better and which moves are worse, I've come here to settle the debate with a not biased tier list of most of the calisthenics moves. This tier list won't be on a difficulty scale, but instead more of a personal experience and preference. And if you won't agree with this tier list, and already are typing a comment like Oh my god, you can't put these moves on a tier list, it's up to everybody's preference. Yes. Yes I can. So let's just jump into it. Probably one of the most easiest moves in calisthenics, and it's nothing special. D tier. It's cool, but not too cool. D tier. The name says it's impossible. So it's impossible, and for that reason, D tier. This move is on the easy side of skills, but it's so fun doing it. It's also one of those moves you can do and literally everybody who hasn't done it will be impressed. C tier. This is one of those moves that everybody claims they can do, but when asked to do it, they make up some excuse like, oh, a mosquito bit me, now I can't do it for this specific day. C tier. The name implies that it's close to impossible. So it's close to impossible. C tier. I like to keep my wrists safe. No thank you. C tier. If it keeps me another day from killing myself, then it's good. B tier. Besides getting a brain aneurysm and an asthma attack at the same time when you start learning this move, I'd say it's pretty good. B tier. My wrists have already been through so much, plus the name of the move always reminds me of some satanic cult, but it looks cool, so B tier. This move is easy and might not seem impressive to me, since I already know how to do it, but there's so many variations of the handstand that the possibilities just seem endless. A tier. The day I will master this move is the day One Piece will end. A tier. Not the one German soldiers wore, but this one. This move is definitely on my to learn list. So A tier. Predecessor of the full planche, this move is definitely on top of the food chain. Currently one of my goals for this year is to master this move. A tier. Front lever but cooler. A tier. Compared to the one-arm push-up, the one-arm pull-up is a far better move. But both moves are fun to do and make you feel like you're Goku. A tier. Basically the move everybody and their grandma wants to learn. Top tier move. S tier. Imagine full planche but harder, like a lot harder, S tier. I put this move in S tier only because front lever was in A tier. Cool move, S tier. Wow. Honorable mentions tier. Now imagine this full planche, but you're doing it with one arm. God, we just want to make everything harder. But this move definitely deserves a spot on the S tier, if not even higher. Now that should be all of the moves I've covered, right? Broda, you forgot one move. Oh my god, is that Kali muscle? Yes boy, and you young man forgot the most important move in street workout. Oh yeah, I didn't forget that. I just thought I won't put it in since this move will make other moves look like child's play. Boy, it don't matter. Roll the clip. Like a different mode? 
No way this is... S plus 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 tier. So thank you all for watching. If you want to support my channel, subscribe, drop a like, and maybe even leave a comment on what you thought about this video. So until next time.